hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to cook a pilau with some potatoes i hope you get to enjoy this video and get to learn something new from this simple and amazing recipe welcome So over here I'm going to put on my cooking pot and start preparing the pilau. You add enough vegetable oil and then two large chopped onions. So in today's pilau uh, it is a little bit twisted and very simple. First I've already um, soaked my spices uh, through the night. For 24 hours i really wanted to get the perfect flavors and it's advisable that uh, when you're preparing flour you prepare them a day earlier uh, the whole spices so that you can get them perfectly soaked so you want to fry your onions until they are golden brown i'll go in with my meat pre-boiled to the returning subscribers thank you so so much and to the new subscribers feel most welcome and kindly turn on your notification bell so that each time i post a new video you get notified kindly share this video like it and leave a beautiful comment at the end so guys as you can see over here like i said earlier it's a little bit twisted you've seen i've added to uh, potatoes and a teaspoon of salt so I want to let this one cook for about five to seven minutes and then I'll come and turn it. So guys, after five minutes, you turn it again, uh, especially the potatoes, they said that I've not uh, cooked. I want them to get the uh, meat flavor, that's why I am frying them together with meat. This is Swahili pilau, or some people might say it's Belangeri because we have potatoes. Yeah, <laughs> cover it and let it go for another five minutes. So, after five minutes, guys, here we are. As you can see, they are perfectly um, cooking. So you know when you'll be eating the potatoes they'll have a, a perfect a salt taste and uh, uh, the meat flavor they'll be having that taste which will be, make it much much delicious i've added uh, uh, my garlic and ginger at this point you keep on turning it because it gets sticky because of a lot of um, onions and potatoes as well because when they are cooking they are sticking at the top of the cooking pot but remember you have to be gentle so guys after another three minutes i'm going to remove my potatoes i think they're halfway done we'll add them later on they have the flavor of ginger and garlic and some salt to taste which is perfect
as you can see that one is perfectly cooked we have some farm here around <laughs> yeah so you get the sound of So as you can I was still I told you before my onions were sticking and I have to turn them often so this is my whole spices we have um, black pepper cumin seeds coriander uh, some cardamom and cinnamon sticks I'm going to let this one the water to drain so guys this is after another five minutes as you can see it is almost there but it is not yet ready according to how I want it to look We need the perfect brown color that is what we want to achieve so guys after another three minutes and this is perfect for me this is a dark brown color of which when you add uh, some rice it will be just perfect brown So I'll go in with my washed rice. I did prepare two cups of rice. You can um, cook as much as you wish according to your budget and the family that you have. So turn it and remember guys you have to be gentle so that the um, rice doesn't break. I really uh, appreciate your support guys the kind words are uh, watching my videos liking and leaving a beautiful comment I don't take it for granted so I'm going right ahead to add my meat broth and then I'll go ahead and add water and that will be it it's so easy and simple I've made several recipes of pilau and each each and every single time I try to be unique and uh, twist it a little bit to make it just perfect you're going to put uh, three cups of water because my meat broth had uh, it was one cup so in um, from one cup of rice we are adding two cups of water that is the ratio for this particular point I'm going right ahead and start putting back my potatoes remember they were pre cooked and we're going to cook it on a low heat turn it you can see guys the perfect brown color and this is what i wanted to achieve you can join my membership it is so so accommodative to everyone super thank me as well <laughs> to appreciate my work so guys as you can see this after seven minutes and we are almost done halfway so you are going to reduce your stove into low heat and cover it and let it uh, the water drain so that one will take about 15 minutes because it is it is on a very very low heat during this festive season this is an amazing recipe for your family friends and yourself as well just treat yourself with this amazing uh, recipe of pilau with potatoes so guys look at our final product 
I'm going to cover it for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, here we are. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. And one more amazing thing is that the rice is not like congested. How do I put this? Hi, Jashikana, Shikana, I'm a channel relationship in Nairobi. Yeah, we are serving. Look at that, guys. Perfect. And let me tell you guys, this was amazing. It was so, so delicious, very simple and direct to the point. Even the kids can enjoy it because kids tend not to like pilau because of the spices. And this one was amazing. We really enjoyed it. And thank you for always coming back to watch my videos, giving it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you. You're an awesome person. And remember to always share my videos, like and leave a beautiful comment. You're an awesome person. Look at that, guys. It was yummy. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.